In our last video, we talked about three authors who, uh, whose work gives a good insight into systems thinking, and I want to thank everybody who commented on that. I'm glad you appreciated it. If any of you out there don't know how to reach us and do want to give us some feedback, uh, you can reach us at info at eacpds.com, or you can message me on my Twitter account, at SysThinking. Um, you can also just leave a comment uh, below the video itself. The positive feedback from the three books we recommended for uh, a deeper dive into systems thinking uh, have led us to uh, do another recommendation. These books will be on uh, knowledge work, knowledge management, knowledge workers themselves. Uh, the three authors, or the first of the three authors I'd like to uh, recommend is Peter Drucker, probably the most prolific business writer of the 20th century. Uh, just before his death, uh, Drucker published his uh, final book, which is called Management Challenges for the 21st Century. And he called the primary challenge of the 21st century is increasing the productivity of knowledge workers. And he has a chapter inside that book uh, devoted uh, specifically to that topic. Very, very good reading, very easy reading, uh, very uh, easily absorbable. Drucker's work is followed up by that of Dan Pink, who wrote the book Drive, which talks about motivation, particularly motivation of the knowledge worker. And he reinforces the belief of both Deming and Drucker that the traditional carrot and stick motivators are not only ineffective with knowledge workers, but actually counterproductive, that they cause a reduction in productivity. And then the third book, or actually the third author I'd like to recommend is Thomas Davenport, who really has taken the baton from Peter Drucker in the elaboration of uh, the motivation and the management of knowledge workers. Uh, Davenport has two very good books. Uh, one is called uh, Thinking for a Living, and the other is Working Knowledge. Uh, and these two books uh, lay out very carefully uh, what constitutes a knowledge worker, what constitutes knowledge work. He talks about things like uh, distinctions between data, information, and knowledge, but starts making the management of knowledge as a system uh, very clear. Uh, he also spends a special emphasis on the inclusion of humans in a knowledge management system. Uh, knowledge management is, if you will, been a stumbling block for most companies uh, in the uh, 21st century. And it's because we tend to look on it as a technology solution. Uh, Davenport himself points out that pure technology is not enough. That knowledge exists inside the mind of human beings and to go to a pure technology system and exclude human beings is to move away from a real ma knowledge management system. Um, basically, in conclusion, the environment for knowledge workers and the uh, uh, knowledge management system are both systems that require very careful system design. Mm -hmm.